Welcome back. 643 now and new this morning on Daybreak. In the years since the death of George Floyd and the weeks of protests that followed, increased attention has been put on the need for mental health resources in communities of color. Two on your side's Kara Spelger spoke with a local mental health counselor about what she has noticed and also why it's important to make sure resources are available for all communities. Good morning, Karis. Now, good morning, Pete and Melissa. There was actually a report re published by the American Psychological Association, and it said, among other things, that the stigma around mental illness, also distrust of the medical system, and a lack of culturally competent providers all provided barriers for people of color getting access to mental health resources. And I actually spoke with a local counselor named Erica M. Moss. She explained that she has seen an increase in the desire for resources from people of color, but she has noticed that there are still other barriers in place. Moss told me a way to combat this is for mental health counselors to make sure they are educated in the unique challenges facing communities of color so they're prepared when patients come to them for help. And this is especially important because of what she called collective traumas in communities of color. Things that they experience when instances of police brutality, for example, have captured public attention. And she says this is a first step to making sure people of color can have access Access to resources and feel. You know, as private clinicians, we have to make sure that we're getting the training to meet the needs, especially during this time, of the clients that want to talk with us. Saunders also mentioned a lack of access to providers of color that may serve as a barrier because patients may feel more comfortable with someone who has some of the shared life experiences as them. There's also the concern of the cost and lack of coverage by insurance providers as well. But, um, but Erica Moss also recommended that those who cannot get to a therapist for one reason or another should find other outlets, maybe going to a local community center to see what resources are there, or possibly even finding ways to de-stress through small activities. Things like reading, meditation, even taking walks outside may provide a reprieve if you are not able to find resources immediately. In Buffalo, I'm Karis Belger. Back to you, Pete and Melissa.